Hey, welcome back to another OTD video. Today, we are doing something a little different. Today, I'd like to give a tribute. A tribute to one of the quote unquote designers over at Hot Wheels. It's one of the, the, the good guys on the team. He's been there for close to 20 years now. I think this is actually his 19th year, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it's his 20th. Um, but he is being honored this Thursday in Lombard, Illinois at the Hot Wheels Collectors Nationals Convention in, as the as the dinner guest. It is Manson Chung. And Manson has been, you know, he, he's, uh, you know, obviously he's been there for, you know, roughly 20 years now. And he's had his hands on endless amounts of castings. And when I say endless, I mean endless. He is the 3D sculptor for... Hot Wheels, and let me kind of explain kind of what the 3D sculptor does. They they take those drawings, they take those renditions that you see that the de designers do, and the 3D sculptors they will uh, you know transform those into you know your Hot Wheels cars essentially. So you know the designers come with the concept, they come with the kind of like the you know the execution of it, and um, and and then the, the sculptor actually makes it a reality. So, before it was a requirement for a lot of the designers to, you know, do some of this, this some of the, the sculpting work. Um, I know they use CAD, some of that on their own now. Uh, you know, Manson was doing it for a lot of the older designers, um, like like let's say Larry Wood. Larry Wood, you know, he was you know a fabulous designer, but he didn't do any of the. <laughs> he'd always say, "I don't, I didn't, never did any of that computer stuff." So. Uh, Manson did a lot of Larry Wood castings, for example. So I do have, um, I think I have one, at least one to show you. I have the Turbo, Turbo in Time. That was actually, if you remember this one, this is a Larry Wood design. But Manson was the one that sculpted, you know, you remember those engines? He sculpted those engines, the turbines, whatever you want to call it, the fan in the front. You know, all that. He sculpted this model, made it become a reality. So, you know. He's the one to thank when when you when you you know see the detail in the casting and you, and you really you know, see it popping out at that 164 scale. He's the one to kind of you know say, man, that is that is some good detail on that you know X casting because I don't know how you did it, but it looks good at this at this scale. Another one for you, um, you know, let's say should we, should we go JDM? Another one for you JDM guys was the Datsun 240Z. Yes, the Datsun 240Z, designed by uh, Phil Reelman, but Manson was actually the one that sculpted it. So, that is another one that, uh, if, if you were in uh, if you're in the Red Line Club last year, you remember that for selections, there was a competition, and all the the designers and marketing picked, uh, you know, they all had kind of their own car they picked, and this was M Manson's car that he picked, because he worked on the sculpt for this one and ended up winning. And ultimately then we were presented with the custom 240Z. Um, it was a, a Fugu Z casting and that one beat this one out. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, in favor of the open hood, but this was, you know, this is the original Datsun 240Z and you know, this is the one that, you know, this one has a huge following it's by itself. And you know it's 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 body. I mean, you can you can think these lines, you can think Manson for these lines on this casting. So, uh, you know, sculptors they, they 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 do a lot of work. They don't get a lot of credit though. They don't get the kind of credit the designers do. Uh, but Manson he he has established kind of a, a genre at least uh, in terms of designs that he does get credit for. He. If, if you follow Hot Wheels on social media at all, Hot Wheels Dream Team, or if you follow uh, Manson himself, you know that he loves DeLoreans and Back to the Future, hence why there is a case of plutonium sitting in front of you. But his first design, well, let me take, take it back. His first sculpt was the Bling's uh, AAR Cuda. I think it, was, it came in like a like an orange and that was his first sculpt that was um, eventually released in 2004 but his first design he got credited for 
was the DeLorean. Yes, the DMC DeLorean. And so this is his first design he got credit for, start to finish. And I actually had him, this isn't the original first edition, but I had him sign this um, FTE version of it right there. There's Manson's signature there. But this is, you know, this is his baby. Uh, he's designed every Hot Wheels DeLorean since. And I can show you some of them. I can show you what's in the case here. The the, uh, the Back to the Future DeLorean, another one of Manson's designs. This is from the San Diego Comic-Con. Obviously one of the better executions of it, you know, in terms of packaging is concerned. The flames in the lighthouse. Awesome. And then... You know, I guess if we go sequential in terms of, of Back to the Future movies, um, you know, we had the, you know, he had one of the Mr. Fusion on it. Um, some little details, you know, every <laughs> every every little detail, you know, Mans is there to sculpt it. but um, And he loved it because he is a Back to the Future fan. But this is the hover mode. We have hover mode, uh, time machine. Very cool there. And then we have the, what, Back to the Future from the third movie. They call it the 1955 in terms of Hot Wheels. There we go. The little the parts on the hood there. So that was another one of his designs. And then lastly, you had the same casting, but with the wagon wheels. Obviously, we showed that just recently here on OTD. But if you... So you can kind of see a, a theme is kind of being established. Um, Manson does a lot of the, the pulp, pop culture... Uh, releases and you know some of these have been so well executed you know based on their, their comic-con presentations I uh, have the another one of his castings was the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 oh wait that is a pro that is a, a trap there a ghost trap huh let's release that there we go that is the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 another design that is credited towards Manson so he gets all the he loves he loves pop culture. You just you can talk to him for days about pop culture. Some of these I think he did I'm pretty sure he did the Batmobile, sixty six Batmobile. This is a one that Larry Wood actually gets credit for. Um but I I figure that he actually was the one that sculpted it because he sculpted a lot of a lot of Larry's designs. I mentioned that though. One that I know for sure he did was the Star Trek, right? Star Trek Spock Riviera. Remember it come, came in in San Diego. Oh, kind of crooked there. <clears throat> so, yeah, he had the stock. or sorry. The, um, the packaging there for the Star Trek Spock Riviera. It's making tons of noise. <coughs> there you go. There's Spock. I'm not sure if he actually sculpted Sp Spock or not. He probably did. And then there's the Riviera. One of the one of the best cars. We haven't seen this car released again yet, so I wonder if we'll see this one. I think it's just a, what is that, 64 Riv Riviera. Can I get the top off here? There we go. Making all kinds of noise. All right. Yeah, so, I mean... You know, just just the attention to detail. Look at, I mean, look at that grill. I mean, that that takes a lot of work, right? Just all these little details are, you know, things that go into, you know, the everyday job of a sculptor. And for man, he's been doing it so long, but he's so good at it too. He actually, I actually got a tour of the design center not too long ago, uh, last October actually, and Manson. Manson, being the nice guy that he is, he he let me try his sculpting machine, which is all, it's all computer based. So you're you're sculpting with a a pen, um, a digital pen on on you know on the screen, and it's providing feedback to you. And I, we got to try the the group I was with. We got to try the the uh, tr the twin mill, and we're, you know we're we pretty much tore it apart. I mean, it was is not for the heavy handed at all. Put it that way. So. Uh, you know, kudos to him. And, you know, he's been doing it for a long time. Obviously, this is his craft, but not an easy job to do, definitely. So, what else do we have? We have, uh, you know, I showed you the Ecto-1. 
the Ecto 1A there too as well. Some more fun stuff on top. I'm sure that was real fun to get all those little details in there and have them be molded correctly and all that jazz. Is that a Ecto one? Let's see. I think you actually got credit for the uh, mystery machine as well. So I got the mystery machine. I think this one, if I remember correctly, I think this one he did in only a couple hours. I think this one is just being so flat and the surfaces. There's one of them I remember he's saying, he said he took, I think he said he did it, uh, he got back from his lunch break. And so the second half of the day, a matter of an hour or two or three. So and then I think, uh, yeah, and then we just have, I'm, I'm not going to show I mean, there's, there's, there are, there are probably like, you know, hundreds of Catherine's I could have showed you here. Um, but I kind of just wanted to show you a good sampling of, of stuff he's done. Uh, the last, you know, the last two cars are Simpsons from the Simpsons. I know Manson's a huge Simpsons fan. So, uh, we've been trying to get him to do the, uh, well, it's not his choice, but obviously he wants to, he wants to do the, uh, the, the Canyon Narrow, I think it's called. It was that Marge's car, uh, the kind of the truck. And then, uh, you know, I, I, I always wanted to see Mr. Plow. I thought Mr. Plow would be really cool. So, but there, here's the Homer. There's the Homer there. And then the Simpsons family sedan. And that cool car. There's a little, little ridge, little, um, you know, the damage on the front, you know, that's in, that's in the show. It's not uh, a Hot Wheels casting flaw. So that is, uh, those, those are just, those are just the details that, you know, that Manson, you know, he's, he's very detail oriented. Um, and he can capture those in a Hot Wheels casting. So congratulations to Madsen. Congratulations to the Hot Wheels convention staff for honoring him. Um, I wish I could have been in Chicago this week to celebrate with you guys. Um, I am not, but I am definitely thinking of Manson. Um, congratulations to you, buddy. Congrats on the, the milestone. Congrats on the celebration. Uh, look forward to seeing you in L.A. All right, OTD guys. See you later.